I don't know about you guys, but this is some of the most epic menu music that I've heard in a very long time. What's going on, ladies and gentlemen? My name is Nick. As always, you guys can call me Touch Revenge, and I welcome you to the game that has been colloquially known as Anime Dark Souls for the last several years. This is Code Vein, a Soulsborn type game with a little bit of anime flair. I had a couple opportunities to play demos of this game. Didn't really go beyond a couple of dungeons and a couple of bosses, so I'm really interested to see what the story, what the art style, and all the other stuff is going to be like. And I'm going to be playing a couple episodes of the game. I don't know if I'm going to play through the entire thing. If you guys want to see more, you guys can let me know in the comment box below. We're going to do a couple episodes to see what the game is all about. So hopefully you guys are going to enjoy. As always, if you're going to enjoy, thumbs up are always greatly appreciated. Uh, this is the PC version of the game. And I kind of jumped the gun, but let's get right to it. Also, a quick thank you for Bandai Namco for providing the review copy of the game. If you want to pre-order the game, you can check out the link in the description below. Hey, can you hear me? Think back. Search your memory for an image of yourself. Oh, PC, I got to type this out. Enter name. Enter code name. That's easy. I gave you it, guys, it at the very beginning. Okay, tough decision time. We played so many souls born type games as a male. Let's play it as a female this time around. Woof! She is smoking. Man, default so pretty. Alright, let's go to advanced settings. Oh Jesus. Those cold dead eyes. The dead Hayuga look. So these are, I guess, just general templates of what we can create. Physique. Oh, I see. <laughs> All right, let's, let's do a happy medium. A 10, a 10. Okay, let's just not get, let's not get too crazy over there. There's a lot of stuff in here. Is this the same? Whoa. Uh, it's about the same haircut, but with the ponytails on the other side. Alright, so I've been at this for like 15 minutes, and I kind of just took the basic template and did a little bit of fine tuning. The, thing, the accessories thing, there's only a certain amount of points you can use, you just can't put everything on. So you have to be a little bit more choosy with the accessories and the necklaces, glasses, sexy librarian glasses, gauntlets, <laughs> little satchels everywhere. But yeah, I'm happy with that. Let's go. Yeah, yeah. That's, that's what you what look, look like. like. Now, now, we can, we can finally, finally meet. meet. Now. Awaken and save the world. Hey, it's an actual anime. There was like a tutorial screen that was kind of boring. I probably would just ed edit that out. It just kind of taught us, but welcome back. Whoa. Creepy ass lady. Girl in white. Hello. How are you feeling? Give me some space.
I've had better days. Don't worry. It's okay. I don't remember either. Over there. So I played demos of this game at E3 and other events, and it didn't look this good. It's dry, isn't it? It was kind of choppy on the PlayStation 4 version I played. This PC version looks great, though. We can go slowly. Very smooth. I am here with you. Yeah, the tutorial basically taught you the basics of the three classes: Ranger. Whatever warrior is and the caster, nothing too stimulating. We're all right. The spring will slake our thirst. <laughs> Walking so slow. Seems everyone, everywhere, is thirsty. There is a spring that will cure that thirst. One that weeps tears of blood. So emo. That's what they said, anyway. This way. Sharingan! What the? Just straight up take a bite out of me? <laughs> what? Straight munching! Naruto storyline, though. So, it is you. The chakra fruit. <laughs> Here, this is for you. This has fan fiction written all over it. A new spring and a fresh source of labor. <laughs> we really hit the jackpot. Get up. It's time for a bit of fun. down. Your friend just fell asleep. <laughs> Out like a light. So, what happened to your masks? 
Forgotten about those too, have you? I'll tell you whatever you want to know, but first, go back there and put on a purifier mask. Yeah. Looks like the folks upstairs want you. Well, they can wait, can't they? More importantly, that mask suits you. Without those things, we revenants will join the ranks of the lost in a flash. So be careful. So, what do you want to know? Everything. According to the folks up there, it's a place to keep laborers who gather blood beads. More concisely, it's a slave pen. A human that died but got kicked awake again. That's what you are. A revenant. As long as your heart is intact, you'll keep coming back. But you have to drink blood or you'll become one of the lost. It's ironic. Creatures made to fight the horrors of the Great Collapse now have to fight their own fallen kin. Each time we die, we lose some part of our memory, be it big or small. It's usually nothing important, and you don't even notice you've forgotten. Well, your case is a little rare, I guess. The lost are revenants who have succumbed to bloodthirst and turned into real-life monsters. If our heart is destroyed, we turn to ash. But the lost don't care if they're left with no heart. Still, it takes them a while to come back, which makes them like us revenants. The air in this place has something in it that speeds up the bloodthirst. We call it miasma. The mask helps filter it out. Mistle purifies the air nearby, but it's been drying up lately, just like the blood springs. Be careful where you take off your mask, unless you want to join the lost. If we revenants don't drink human blood, we join the Lost. But humans are scarce after the Great Collapse and all. The folks like us don't get blood, but there's something we can use in its place. Blood beads. I don't know why such a lucky thing came along, but they started appearing after the Queen frenzied and was taken down. There are some who believe that there are tears, but it doesn't matter much to us where they come from. Missile is a sort of plant that purifies miasma and renders it safe. It's one of the successes of Project Queen. Even if it withers, it can be brought back with medicine made from the Queen's blood. But there's no hope of that now. If activated Missile turned up somewhere, it'd be a big help in exploration. La chit chat, sir. The view never improves, does it? Came back home after the war against the Queen and found this mist. Getting close to it causes enough pain to drive you mad, so no one has ever crossed it. There's nowhere to go home to, even outside of this prison. Man, everyone here is so depressing. I kind of want to go up the stairs, but I also want to get this guy's story. <laughs> and that's his story. Wandering, they say, the folks up there. They might live in safety. But because of their levy, we have to risk our necks to collect blood beads. Just you wait. One day, I'm gonna make thralls out of a whole lot. Ah. Screw it. Up we go. This one's dry. The miasma's pretty thick. Damn it! We're running out of time before the next collection. Everything's ready. Right. I'm on my way. <laughs> all dried up. Just like the others. Y yeah, all dried up. So there's no sense in searching with the miasma like this. Let's... <gasps> Thank you. 
You know what these are, right? Blood beads, right? Yes, very good. Now I want you to search for blood beads in the tunnels ahead of here. You see, it's only a short time before the collectors come to take our levy. But once they do, I'm afraid we won't have any blood beads to give them. If we don't find some, Silva's hounds will strip the shirts right off our backs. Well, that's the long and short of it. W why does it have to be us? Don't ask me. The stupid levy system was Silva's idea. If you have a complaint, I suggest you take it up with him. You lot go first. Get to work. Don't. There's a better time and place. For now, we just have to obey. Next! Whoa there! You wait here with us. You can have this one back when you return. In exchange for any blood beads you find, of course. Oh, and I hear the hunter has been showing up around here lately. So make sure you don't all get killed. Hunter? You heard him. Move it! Wow, Ouch. dude. Hey, you okay? It looks like we can't get back up from here. We'll have to look for another way back. Oh, I'm Oliver Collins, by the way. Nice to meet you. Hey, I know this area. This area was part of the demo that I played. Well, should we set out? Huh. Okay. A dead lost. I've never seen one before. Oh my I God. see dead. But oh, they're not really what? dead. It's just a dormant state before they turn into real monsters. Or so I've heard. Sometimes it takes years for the transformation to start. So we can just leave them. The enemy? Oh my god. I got juked. Juiced him like a battery. No, 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 I want to do that again. Oh, no. So he's the attack power. You have to use whatever you can to survive. So you get attack, you get, so the 11 out of 18, from what I remember from the demo, the 11 out of 18 is your blood count, and that is what you need to use your special abilities. So you can see the numbers on the outside tell you how much it uses for. You can regain blood by just simply attacking, but for your most bang for your buck, you want to use this attack. That gets you a little bit more. In there? An actual weapon. Yeah. Yeah, boy. Which way do you think is better? I don't know what's better, but I know that a, a axe is probably better than a metal pipe. Gotta keep an eye on that stamina gauge. Ooh. You see that 
too. Man, this is so much smoother. I'm not gonna lie, the last two builds I played in this game were extremely janky. <laughs> but on PC, it seemed to be Who stacked them here? running fabulous. Oh, hello. Please don't fall. So poor. Please don't What's fall. Thanks, tips. Walk carefully. Focus. When your focus fails to get hit or dodge any attacks, once it's full, your stamina will be replenished and you enter your focus state. You'll become harder to stagger and move more easily to stagger. Yeah, and you want to be unlocking it. RB. R, B, and Y. So R, B, and Y when I see that blue mark. Hey! Hey, 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 hey. Get a block! Get a block! Good work, Oliver. Good work, sir. Is there something good in there? Lost bayonet. So we're playing as the fighter class right now, which is kind of like a Be warrior ready class. For anything. I think it's a good all-round class. Yeah, I'm fine, but really, <laughs> that wasn't very convincing, was it? These masks are the old type, hard to breathe. In. How are you doing? That girl, she's your friend, right? We should find some blood beads and go back for her quick. Oh. Goo guys. Will that come in handy? Well, something's above us. Oh my god. Mistle. Oh, it's just a simple level up. In previous games, you had like to like dedicate exactly what you wanted to invest in. But here, it's kind of just all round. All around is leveling up, which I, 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 I dig that. Streamline a things a little bit. A weapon around in here. You're in <laughs> what was the point of coming down here? No reason. Cutscene. Oh, didn't they pass us earlier? Are you okay? Did you get hurt? Huh? Uh. 
His mask. That could have gone better. Rip. I'll catch up with you in a bit. Oh, he's so dead. <laughs> Don't worry about me. I'll be all right. Go on. He's gonna become a lost. You just focus on finding some blood beads, all right? That girl is waiting for you. Just take the mask off the other guy. Just saying. Chemical light. I'll try parry. Okay, ready? That was fail. There it is. Parrying is always such a high risk, high reward thing. I don't usually go for it, to be honest with you. Increased my max uh, capacity too. I think it was at 18 before. Now I'm at 20. You don't see me, dude. You don't see me. Okay. Oh, snap! Second guy just came out of nowhere. I don't even know what these things I'm picking up are. Uh, oh, right, right, right. I remember this section. This guy's on the ledge here that we have to clear out. Give me your blood. Why he spent all my money on satchels? Oh dear. Okay, let's stock it poisoned. He said, let's not get poisoned. Oh! Oh my god! Oh! Where you come from, dude? So far, the controls are really good. Really responsive, which is something you really want in a game like this. You don't want to feel like the game, the controls failed you. Ow. Yeah, Soulsborne type game with bad controls. Just be born to fail. Charge, recharge, recharge. Watch out, watch out, watch out, watch out. You don't even have a weapon. Go away. Loser. Get 
memory serves correct. Fire? Oh my god. Come on, get that range, dude. Get the range. This area was not nearly as hard as when I played it the first time around. I think they jacked up the difficulty even though it's a beginning area. Dusted. Dusted. Yep. Grab this. Level up. After we activate this missile. Level four, baby. That respawned all the enemies. And then we got this big guy right here. Which, if memory serves correct. Oh my god. Oh! Oh! Wow, dude. All right, all right. You want to play like that? I'll completely whiff that. Careful. Back my haze. Queen Slayer Thorn. Yeah. Get my Akatsuki on. you a fellow explorer? It appears you're alone. I'm on my own at the moment too, but I was hoping for a partner for the path ahead. What do you say? Would you mind working together? At least until we're through here? Don't worry, I'm not gonna stab you in the back. And my asthma and the lost here are enough trouble as it is. <laughs> Thanks a lot. I'm glad to work with you. Do you know what type of people who don't Stab you in the back? Are the people who don't mention that they're not gonna stab you in the back? I'm just putting that out there. I'm gonna skip the songbird right now. It looks like the songbird, just On my saying. Way. A straight shot through might be unrealistic. That's a lot of guys. Careful. This doesn't look easy. Thanks. Oh my god. The range. He's almost dead. Thank you. Oh my god, the big guy's coming! He's coming! He's here! Ooh! That only hurt a lot. Dude! Oof. 
Wow, he, he moves so fast for a big guy. Did you pick up something we can use? That's it. Take this. What was that? Wow, he just straight up burned him in one shot. This guy's legit. Slide down feature. Wow. Yeah. I barely got through this section during the demo. I think we can go up here. Okay. I won't take long. Ooh. Still dripping blood. Excellent. Could that really be? Missile. Should we try another blood type? Checking your equipment? I'll keep watch then. Oh, wait, I can get a gift here, right? Fighter gift. Plus 560. Hey, you, that's uh, forget it. We'll talk later. I have a name. Oh, these are passive abilities. Cool. It's strange to see a cave connected to a building. It's open. It's like this Queen Slayer factory here. Rod sword. The only issues with this is that you lose the ability to do that special attack when you use the head go weapon. That's just kind of nerfing us. We need that. We need that ability. Getting attacked here would be seriously bad. Why would you? S wow. Why would you say that? Don't say those types of things, man. All this guy, some guy melts in from the wall. Oh my god. Hey, I know that sword. Man, this guy has got some serious chops. Oh, I almost walked over the end. Ah, oh, would have been embarrassing. I was just like flipping the screen so fast.
together. This lake was formed from a hole created by a thorn of judgment. That's quite valuable. Let's use it well. I came from down there. I just reset all the enemies. Love Wrecked. Oh, another weapon. Would have missed that. Ooh, again. light! Good. That's light from the surface. Oh, damn. It's all over. What if you would have chosen to play lost, can never come back. as a male? Would he be a female? Cast aside your doubt. Such an anime thing to say. <laughs> well, this guy's coming after us. I don't know. See, I don't have any blood. Wow. Do some range, dude. Oh, give me some. Yeah, donate me some of that blood, dude. I'll give you some of mine. Hope you alive again, man. Oh, what the? What the heck, dude? All over. Okay, I'm not gonna wait maybe. Yeah, you caused a distraction for me. Wow. Way to whiff. So badly. Oh my god. It's not good, not good. Not good. Not good. Yes, I do. I gotta play it safe. I'll use the rest of my item. Oh, that's an AoE. Proper, proper roll on this time. Get in there. You gotta learn how to roll properly if you wanna play these games. Got him! Yeah. Wasn't too bad. It's nice having a second character to pull aggro. She's all right. By the way, both of you, all revenants must pay a levy. There are no exceptions. A vestige. Best to stay away from those stones. Anyone who touches them is defiled, transformed into the lost. Don't listen to their whispers. Someone has to be sacrificed. Oh my god. Without blood beads, we won't make it. Sharingan. Once she's settled down, let's get out of here. It's like a red... The big red button that they tell you to not push. Instantaneous yellow you want to do is want to push it. I'll keep watch. Once Alright, let's try this. 
Wait, what are you? It's calling me. Ooh. Let go. It'll swallow you up. It's all right. You can do it. So artsy. Okay, this straight up sounds like the soundtrack from Final Fantasy X. Please let us keep them just this once. We won't make it if you take them. I swear they ripped it off. Must pay a levy of blood wounds. There are no exceptions. Sorry. Sorry. Daddy. Mommy. Someone has to be sacrificed. Without blood beads, we won't make it. This is like a much more story in depth. The few humans that remain are under Silva's control. I like it. it Wandering irreverence like us, forced to hunt for blood beads, face death. Even if some reverence must be sacrificed for our survival. Gives the series a kind of unique identity. The story is actually up front, explained well. You don't have to go digging like you have to do in typical Soulsborne games for the actual lore. Well, I guess you eat what you sow, right? Oliver, no! Well, that's all right. What's important is that at least one of us makes it. This is a memory echo. It's a place where lost recollections still wander. Come, let's move on. If you use that stairway, I believe it should take us back to the world outside this memory. You are so... unproportionate. God, take out my eyeballs with those things. Is this the past of one of the lost? No, there's no way. Oh my god, my retinas. They burn. <laughs> what the hell was that? It was a memory carved into that vestige by the one who left it behind. I didn't expect that I'd get dragged into it too. We both melted into you. I can't believe this. What a power. Come with me. I know a spot where we can rest. I'm Louie. I'm researching blood beads. He's dreamy. Nice to meet you. Berserker Vestige Core. New blood code. Ugly, isn't it? The red mist showed up a short time after the queen was defeated. And when it did, 
It trapped everyone and everything inside, giving birth to the society of revenants ruled by Silva. The Jail of the Mists. As time passed, that was the name people gave to the world inside. The creatures trapped inside the miasma wander in a never-ending cycle of death and rebirth, always searching for blood beads to sustain them. Revenants need to have blood. Without it, they turn into those creatures we call the Lost. The revenants who captured you were desperately searching for blood, terrified of losing themselves. It's a common fate these days. But ripples are beginning to form. You cleared the miasma and revitalized the blood spring. Where did you learn to do that? You've forgotten? <laughs> Anything you do remember? It's unusual, losing so much of your memory. I suppose it was the same for her. For now, just take it easy. Make yourself at home. Sweet! We got a home base! It's warm here, isn't it? Everyone... Oh, come on. It's everyone wants to know more about me. But I don't know the answer to any of their questions. All I can remember is that my name is Eo, and that my place is by your side. Hey, you my have a name. name. Oh my god. It's all I can my name. I'm not sure. It was simply decided. One does what must be done. And for me, that is my mission. To stay at your side. I was wounded while I was searching for you. I am not a very capable fighter. Okay, you done? Done, done? Oh, no, thank you. Talk to Louis. The ability to draw strength from experiencing memories the power to revitalize blood springs, both unprecedented. Sorry, but could I get a sample of your blood? We might understand more if we analyzed it. It won't be much, just a small vial, so you won't need to worry about bloodthirst. It'll take a while to get the results. Take it easy in the room back there while you wait. Do I have a choice? Damn, look at these things! Ritz Carlton, Carlton over here. Easy there, perverts. Relax. Oh, Jesus. We can zoom in. Oh, oh, I, okay. I, I did not mean to do that. Oh. You can adjust their appearance here. No, no, no. We don't want to cover up my beautiful face. The only thing that looks like we couldn't do is change our gender, which makes sense. Oh no, creepy dungeon! Creepy basement dungeon. Nothing. Nothing. There was a missile over here to activate. Oh. Level that up. 
So the gifts come from the people that we encounter. Maybe grab that next time. Oh. The old punching bag. so much potential in. I'm Davis. I go around for the provisional government as part of the investigation into the depths. Just as a warning, try not to stir up any trouble. If you do, I won't be able to do my job and, well, you get it, right? Can you hook me up with some of these weapons, though? They're just right here. Nice to meet you. If Louie brought you here, there must be some reason, right? I'm Rin Murasame. I provide the back home support for all the explorers here. It's a pleasure. I've got my own reasons for why I can't go into combat with you, but I'll provide your weaponry and maintain it for you. Anyway, relax and make yourself at home. All revenants carry some secret with them. Don't do anything funny. I'll be keeping an eye on you until this talk with Louis settles down. Wow. You're an unfamiliar face. Has Louis stuck his head into another pot of trouble? Well, it's none of my business, really. Anyway, I'm Coco, a merchant by trade. Stop by if you need anything. I've done what I can to look into your talents, and I've confirmed something surprising. Revenants have blood types that differ from those of humans. These types greatly affect a revenant's abilities. However, your blood has no specific type. Or maybe more accurately, your type is broken. Your abilities, and the fact that you have no specific type, might be due to your being what we call a void type. You were able to gain another revenant's power through a vestige, right? That phenomenon is unique to void types. Supposing you are a void type, there's a test I'd like to perform. Don't worry, I'll get something out of it. I'm going to give you some of my blood. If my theory is correct, it should act as a medium that will give my power to you. Well, here goes. Let me just chomp down over here. Did you go visit Murasame and Coco? They should be ready to do business now. Sweet. Weapons and blood veils are vital parts of a revenant's kit when exploring. You should take another look at them. If you've got materials, upgrade and transform them. Once you've got that settled, talk to me again, and we'll continue where we left off. So I got another code there. I guess that's why they call it Code Vein. Oh, good timing! I've got everything set up now. What do you need? I know it's a bother, but I'll need you to bring the necessary materials if you want to upgrade a weapon. There's a shortage of pretty much everything these days. Still, we're better off than most people. What do you want to upgrade? Ugh. Blew all my haze leveling up. Dumb. Which blood veil do you want to upgrade? Okay, take care then. Literally broke. Broke! I've got just about anything you could want. Oh, yeah? If you want it, I got it. 
Wow. Come again soon. Broke. You remember that scene we witnessed at the Vestige? That kind of stuff happens every day here. Silva has taken most of the humans who survived under his protection, so revenants are left to rely on blood beads alone to slake their unending thirst. But, well, nothing in this world lasts forever. The springs started to dry up, and so blood beads grew rarer and rarer. And the order Silva created by levying and distributing blood beads won't last much longer either. The world needs more blood beads. Only then can we strive for fairness instead of petty favoritism. That's why we've been exploring the Jail of the Mists. We're doing research to learn all we can about blood beads. But the miasma has been a real problem. It makes our thirst even worse, so our progress has stalled. Now, though, we have a glimmer of hope. Your power can clear the miasma. If you could help us... No pressure. Well, you'd be drawn into a bitter conflict. Still, the truth is, we don't have a lot of hope without you. Will you join us? <sighs> Thanks. So, it's a done deal? <laughs> well then, from now on, you're one of us. Yakumo Shinanome. <laughs> oh my looking god. I'm forward to seeing you in action. I can't even pronounce that name again. Let's get right into it. Here's what's going on. We're studying blood beads and their springs. We want to know how and when blood springs appear, their cycles for producing beads, and the composition of the beads themselves. We've made a few discoveries. First of all, we found that there are tubes like capillaries running through the earth. We call them blood veins. And so far as we can determine, every single blood spring is located on top of one of these blood veins. Also, after comparing blood beads and blood veins, we now know that they are mostly comprised of the same substances. In other words, we can safely assume that blood springs always form along blood veins. And we think that means there must be a source somewhere, a kind of headwaters for the blood beads. Now that we have you around to clear the miasma, we can investigate the springs and follow the blood veins. And hopefully, find the source. Right? We want to check out the old city ruins first. Sorry for the rush, but we should head out as soon as you're ready. Straight up rushing me. Missile to missile, baby. My character is a missile. Look at her, she's so beautiful. All right, ladies and gentlemen, that'll be it for the first episode of Code Vein. I'm definitely gonna do another one, because I kind of want to see where the story goes. And the first bit was a little bit easy in terms of the combat. I say that now and then I'm gonna get my shit pushed in a little bit later. But anyways, hope you guys enjoyed. As always, if you enjoyed, thumbs up are always greatly appreciated. Let me know what you guys think of the game in the comment box below. If you're new, feel free to subscribe to stay up to date with the series. And I will see you guys next time, alright? As always, have a fantastic day.